Okay, for today's treasure hunt, I am on a dry riverbank from the Groff River uh, near the train tracks where my last film was. And we're gonna see what we turn up today. So far, uh, I had one crappy item, some buffer piece I can show you on the way out. All right, uh, so I'll check back in when I get to something good. Now on a dry riverbed, you want to find something like this, a hill. This is where you want to very, very carefully detect because the corners, the three corners that are available to the hill uh, can collect some of the silt from gold that runs downstream. It's unlikely, but not impossible. So I'm going to check this out and see how we do. Okay, getting another high riverbank hit. This is a good place for silt. You know, anything with the banks, anything that runs down. Okay, so we're going to check it out and see. Now, I found a rock before. Oh, no, I already know what I found here. Pull tab. If I were the Toby Jones on Detectorist, I would be telling you what year and what soda. Can't do it, sorry. Junk. But it gives you an idea of how good a metal detector can be at finding even the littlest things. That could have just as easily have been a coin. You know, and you never know what kind of coin you're going to pick up in a place that has a historical past. So never give up. It's always fun. I'm going to keep at it. I'll let you know when I find something else. Roots are painful, but a shovel like this, a very strong metal shovel, you can cut through them pretty good. And you're really not doing any damage to any of the trees. These are, you know, ancillary roots. Others will grow in their place. Some will diverge off these ends here and become two and three roots. So. dig. It's coming up as a coin, so let's see what we find. Last thing that came up as a coin, I found a piece of a, an old floor buffer. And it was somewhat larger than a coin. Okay. Let's try to pinpoint. <clears throat> Yeah, you see, that's how you do it with a pinpointer. You just poke around until you find the spot. Gotta go a little bit deeper. Where? Yeah. 
<laughs> Look at that. Vintage Diet Pepsi can. Useless. Well, that was a lot of work for nothing. Okay, I hit it again and it's giving me a very good sound. Sound I like to hear. So, I'm gonna keep trying with this. Be careful when you move trees and lift these up. There may be smoke underneath it. You'd be surprised. Found a few, uh, copperheads, uh, moccasin, water moccasin. And this is a muddy bank. They could have holes all around here, even though there's no water right now. We have to be careful. One of the hazards in Jersey. I'm in central Jersey right now, so they are somewhat indigenous to this area. A little more rare because of the population, but not completely uncommon either. Man, there has to be something here. Seems like it's pretty deep, whatever the hell it is. Pin pointer seems to not be working. There we go. Okay. Now, there you go. We've pinpointed. A lot of roots here so you have to twist dig put it in and twist put it in and twist put it in and twist that'll pull out some of those small ancillary roots cut them move them aside and new and healthy roots will grow and sprout from their demise here we go looks like a can yeah. Pepsi is apparently very popular in this watering hole. Okay, well, that was that one.